All right, you just eat some grass and relax while I search through the miner's possessions for any sort of uh, clues as to the whereabouts of of um, gosh, I have a short-term memory, don't I? Terrence Sims. That's who I'm looking for. Terrence Sims. Hopefully he hasn't wandered off completely. Well, we seem to have completely passed up the location of that treasure. It shouldn't be too hard to find when we head out of this town. Now, I thought a miner might be out in these, these tents, but... I don't see any sign of him, so I'm going to have to check the main buildings. Let's see. See if we can get lucky with any of these bunkhouses. Starting with this one. The doctor's office. No, Doc, I'm... I don't, unfortunately, have time to hear about the town of Mineral and its, and its background. Let's see if he's in the tavern. Not much going on here. All right then. Mine Supply Co. Of course it's locked. That's a smart, smart security officer you've got in this town. Let's check the general store. Hello, general. I'm here to buy some generals from the general store. <laughs> Just kidding. That's an old Denton joke. I don't need that. I don't need that. What do you got? Nothing I really need, generally speaking. Alright, so this must be this must be where Terrence Sims is then. Who's who's Terrence Sims? There he is. A diamond axe. I can't say as I really want to trade for that right now. Alright. Sims, I'm looking to finish some business Amanda sent me. I noticed that when I walked in, I found a miner being yelled at by a foreman who just left. Is that you, Terrence Sims? Are you Terrence Sims? Yeah, that's me. What was that about? And why is he giving me the stare down? That guy runs this place, aren't giving us enough cash for the work we do. Oh, hello. Huh, sorry, Terrence. One second. I'm just buying some, just buying some new boots, and then some new pants. Actually, that's pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic deal you got there. I don't need a shovel though. But uh, so. We just got into a little argument, that's all. And who are you? Well, I'm Daniel Wade. I was told by Amanda Beaverden that you could help me find a few people here. You're that guy from Denton everyone's been talking about, aren't you? I guess so. You must not have a lot to talk about around here. You might want to lay low. There's a few people here who are probably looking for you. They're probably hiding from me. Is Edgar McCall here? Yeah, so is the ex-governor you scared out of Danton. Perfect, I thought I'd find him here. Guess this is as good a time as any to step in. Finally, we can turn this place around. Those are my thoughts exactly, Terrence. But I'm here for more than just that. I understand. Come back to me when you're ready to face them. I'm all stocked up on ammo and supplies. I'm going to settle things once and for all. The only thing else I need to do is uh, sleep, and then uh, I'll be right, right back in the morning. I don't actually remember seeing any beds that are safe to sleep in. Is he trying to trick me? Because I think if I go to sleep in one of these tents, I'm gonna wake up and suffocation. Well, so my option. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna just sleep at the train station because I feel like that's probably the safest place. It's not somewhere that anyone would expect me to to sleep. Oh, I don't have permission to sleep at the train station. Well, 
I guess I'm just gonna have to try my luck then with one of these. Horse, if I wake up suffocating, you know to come in and bite the miner in the bottom and rescue me. Alright, I guess I guess everything's alright. I'm just a suspicious sword after all. I am here on revenge. And everyone's talking about me. So now, Terence, I'm back. You sure you want to do this? I'm quite sure, Terence. I've come all this way. It's too far for me to change my mind. And besides, I've got this heat shot lever action rifle made especially for me. Right, both of them, both of them are holding up in the redstone mines. Take the mine elevator down further into the mines. You should find them there. Alright, Terrence, thanks. Things are about to change. Okay, I trust that you will be careful. They have all their guards defending this place. They know you're here. I've dealt with guards before. And I'm going to fight my way through the redstone mines. Uh, can you just tell me where the redstone mines are? I know where Pike Springs and Wheeler are. Take the mine elevator down. That's what I need to do, but where in the world do I find the mine elevator? Oh, perhaps... Perhaps in the mine office? The mining supplies office? It's still closed. I sure, I sure don't have good directions. There's the mine elevator. Alright, Bullseye, I will be back. I'm going... Is this the mine elevator? Redstone dust processing. Well, I might as well look, look around a bit while I'm here. Oh, whoa, now wait... Wait just one cotton picking minute. That Amanda is a cheapskate. She told me that this was a one of a kind shotgun. And here I am finding the same thing in the Redstone Mining Company. Now, if I was a suspicious man, I would be suspicious of that. Moon clarity. Now, that's something I can get behind. Oh, and an end ghost elixir. Hey, now. Hey, now that's... Well, this wasn't the mine elevator. So, where the heck... Where the heck am I supposed to go? I'm gonna go give this armor to Bullseye. Bullseye, you... You you are part mountain goat. You seriously are part, part mountain goat. That is my feeling. I didn't mean to mount you just yet. Didn't mean to mount you, even though you're my horse. Handsome, handsomical, handsomical Alright, you stay here. I'm gonna try to figure out where to go. Tell you what, you're a lot faster than me riding on foot, so I am gonna, I am gonna take you. Now, Perhaps I should follow this train train to the mines. <laughs> okay, that was quicker than I suspected. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, I hit my head. Okay, so we're going to just tie you up right here then. We're just going to tie you up right here, safe and sound. And I'm going to head into the mines. Bullseye, only you... And that dude know where I've been. Okay. Oh, let's do this. Let's put on a, a sturdier mining helmet than what I had. Elevators that way. All right. Might as well search through these mines, see if there's any more replica rifles like I was given, under the false impression that it was a 
fully authenticated Amanda Beaver Snatch original. Wait a second. Uh, I don't have anything that I want to put on yonder anvil. Let's go down here. Why not? Get some supplies. Oh boy. My lack of torches is really going to... Oh! I didn't even see you there, sir. I, you know what? I better be really careful if I light these guys on fire. That they don't bump into me and catch me on fire. Well, all these supply chests are empty. What kind of supply room is this? Not a very good one, if I do say so myself. Oh, he can't cross a railroad track. Is that what's going on here? Are these are these outlaws afraid to cross the railroad tracks? Is that what's happening here? I forgot about the natural fear of railroad tracks and bandits. That's exactly what's happening here. They don't want to cross the railroad tracks. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nothing. Ain't nothing and ain't nobody. Now. If I get into a lot of trouble, I'm just going to put on my ghost elixir. Oh, now why did, why did that stone just fly right out of my inventory? Let's take the elevator down. our way through these passages. Oh, as quiet as can be. Whoa, is there someone else in here with me? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see you in the darkness. I really do wish I had torches. I really do wish I had... Wait a minute. Let's get some moon clarity about this situation. That ought to help. Try to peg these dudes. Alright, I can take that guy on. Oh, there's more than one. They must be attracted to a uh, villager. Or a miner, I should say. Oh, wait a minute. This is a dead end. This is a complete and utter dead end. Okay, I didn't go this way. Oh, they're also attracted to. Uh, well, we'll just take care of, take care of these dudes with my knife. You and I'm Edgar McCall. You're looking for a way out, aren't you? Oh, hello, Daniel. Funny seeing you here. <laughs> uh, maybe we can work something out, eh? Ooh, eh. 100 emeralds. How about 100 emeralds? No, and I won't hurt you. Your railroad workers will do that for me. Where's Roe? He left through one of the other tunnels. Hurry, you might catch him. Alright, I'm just going to give you a little souvenir to remind me. Remember me by. You're a disgrace. I have to go through these mines and catch up with Roe as quickly as possible. So I'm going to do that. I hope he's not in a battle against... Wait a minute. My last name is Wade, and his name is Roe. This is Roe v. Wade. That doesn't really mean anything to me, so I don't know why I brought it up. 
Just sounds funny, that's all. Roe v. Wade. Might be another issue that we need to discuss sometime in the future. Alright, we're gonna just aggro all these cowpokes here. Because why not? They're trying to get to Roe. Who's in this jail? Your time is up, Ro. Aloha, Mr. Wade. Haven't seen you in a while. Right, your accent's even changed. But I've come for you, Ro. You're behind all of this. I'm throwing this glass bottle at your head. You've killed my father, my brother. I don't know how many workers you've killed. And now you're here to kill me. You've gone through an awful lot to kill one person. You've killed many others just to get here. What will you do when all of this is through? I'll just disappear into the ghost world. I don't know. I haven't thought much about it, actually. What do you suggest? There will always be men like us, Mr. Wade. We are not so different. Well, I'm not completely bald and my nose isn't quite as large. Both of us are doing what we think is best for us not thinking about what we do to get there. Uh, maybe so. Ends justify means, Mr. Wade. Now, finish the job. After all, it's all you know how to do. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm just gonna kill him because that's the whole point. I don't know if it'll make things better. It certainly won't bring my family back. But it's better than knowing that you're still out there, so I must kill you. Okay. I've done it. Now to exit the mines and then go back to Mr. Wallace for some reason. Because I don't have a plan of my own, but maybe he can... Maybe he can tell me what to do next. I sense, I sense that my journey is almost at an end. I've now, oops, gotten complete revenge for my bro and my pa, for Carmel Girl, for Gertrude, for um, what was my other horse's name? Uh, Nelly for um, Pete, for Amanda Hug and Beaver, for um, for that other girl and that other guy, for the whole tribe that I slaughtered once upon a time. I think this is the way to go. And now I must return to Terrence after, well, I guess Bullseye's fine right there. Bullseye, did you break your lead somehow? But you stayed anyway. That's nice. That's nice of you. Alright, let's return to Terrence Smith. Smith? Terrence... Terrence Sims. Boy, there's a whole lot of San Bravo that I haven't actually discovered. Maybe I might do some wandering around. Why wow, you actually did it! Yeah, I guess I did. It's been five years since they killed Rick, and to think, it's finally over. So, what are you gonna do now? I think I'm going to Disneyland. I mean... Scratch that. I don't even know what that means. I really have no idea, but I might stick around for a while. What are you going to do now that Ro is gone? We still need the mines for a job, so I might try running things around here. Yep. I'm sure you could do a better job than Ro or McCall could have done. <sighs> but I think first I'm going to do is go take a nap and eat some bread.
the story of Daniel Wade ended there. Some say that he returned to Denton and became a rancher. Some say he left for California, like he planned to do with his brother. Either way, he went down as a legend of the West, like many before him. Riding off into the night on his horse named Bullseye. Insert theme music here and hush up that stupid narrator. <laughs>